powerful water is crashing against the Chaudière Bridge, one of the main links between Ottawa and Gatineau. It's so dangerous, the bridge is closing first thing tomorrow. Aerial views sizing up the strength of the mighty Ottawa River. There's lots of, lots of heavy work to do, but... 40 kilometers west, the right Prime Minister right. was in another hard-hit area. That's good. There we go. But it was this photo op that got him some flack. I was in a truck for an hour waiting while you were here with a photo op. I have... The most insincere thing I've ever seen. Sorry, sir. That's un un unfriendly and unneighborly today. We're here to help. The RCMP later confirmed the Prime Minister did not delay other volunteers. But it's easy to understand why people are tense here. This is a second once-in-a-century flood in just a few years. That's the big concern, is a combination of wind and high water at the same time. Neighborhoods look like lakes. This home, more like a swimming pool, water winding through the doorway with a vengeance. If I ever decided to use this as a part of a retirement, I think that's out the door now. 552 soldiers are now in the Ottawa region, protecting more than just homes. They're sandbagging the only road into Ottawa's main water treatment plant, which supplies 50% of the city's water. The region dodged expected rainfall today, a needed reprieve for the thousands trying to protect their properties. But that wind didn't let up at almost 40 kilometers an hour. There's no official evacuation call, though authorities warn that could still happen. If we can't get to you in the, in the need of emergency, how are we going to help you? Meteorologists say the worst is yet to come. Water levels are expected to peak on Monday or Tuesday, giving residents 48 hours to figure out their next move. Sandy, 